Alrighty, we're back here finishing up our discussion on hormones. Oh, but uh, yeah, just just a notice on these glasses and actually headband too. So these were some uh, Christmas gifts from the pa and from the sisters. I mean, if if it's close to after Christmas or, or whatever holiday you celebrate and, and you aren't sporting whatever gen generous gifts that were uh, received I, I don't think I don't think you're doing it right just just gonna throw that out there but continuing on hopefully you aren't offended but if you are sorry put your headband on that's all I got to say we got the blue light glasses and in this video we're talking about sex hormones so that's pretty sexy I must say so we're gonna talk about estrogen and testosterone Ooh. but uh, estrogen and testosterone they're produced uh, by gonads so gonads are uh, produce sex cells eggs and sperm and also produce reproductive hormones which are obviously the estrogen and testy so more specifically the ovaries which are a gonad uh, secrete estrogen and the testes which are also a gonad secrete testosterone so what do these sex hormones what do estrogen and testosterone uh, what do they target what cells do they target what organs do they target three two one and we're gonna find out so uh testosterone estrogen they both target osteoblast activity and what they do is they increase osteoblast activity if you recall from the prior episodes osteoblast uh ultimately produce new bone matrix so they they help to form bone pool calcium and minerals from the blood and and ultimately form bone uh, the the hard hard bone that's under every, everywhere in our uh, everywhere in our body is uh, ultimately formed from from these deposits in our blood here so osteoblast activity it uh pr helps produce the bone matrix form bone, bone matrix so estrogen testosterone uh increase osteoblast activity also very important uh they both slow the degeneration of the epiphyseal plate so the epiphyseal plate as we learned about and, and touched on previously and when we were talking about i guess would have been the skeletal system uh epiphyseal plate once the uh epiphyseal plate or growth plate degenerates completely lengthwise great uh, growth of the bone stops. So once that epiphyseal plate, that that thin layer of hyaline cartilage there, uh, degenerates, the bone's not growing anymore. It might grow a little width, but lengthwise the bone is not going to grow anymore. So once this epiphyseal plate, towards the uh, the end of the long bone, once it degenerates, boom, lengthwise lengthwise growth of this particular long bone is going to stop. So this is very important as we'll see at the end of this video. But, uh, so testosterone, we'll, we'll delve into that here. That is the major differentiating factor uh, before birth uh, of whether uh, an individual is a male or a female. So if there's testosterone prevalent before both, or before birth, excuse me, then uh, the individual is gonna be a male. If there's no testosterone, it's going to be a female. So that is a major differentiating factor testosterone is. So before birth, if uh, the the embryo or, or fetus, I'm not actually sure the exact uh, definition, but the, the baby human inside of a human, uh, yeah, if there's testosterone, it's going to be a male. If not, female. So from birth to puberty, there's no testosterone prevalent, but from in a male. And from puberty till death, males will produce testosterone for uh, for the remainder of their lives. There's so after puberty until they uh till they hit hit the road, kick the dirt or or, or pass away, pass on, uh yeah, guys are gonna produce testosterone. Woman, on the other hand, so obviously there's no estrogen before birth, um, no estrogen up to puberty but from puberty to menopause uh women are going to produce estrogen so estrogen uh once or after menopause uh no estrogen is going to be be secreted by the ovaries there's some secreted by other glands but it's it's almost negligible essentially there so just really what we need to know about estrogen in, in women is from puberty to menopause going to produce estrogen after menopause no estrogen no estrogen is uh 
you could you could generally say no estrogen is going to be produced and secreted by the woman which also means osteoblast activity does uh does stop so estrogen obviously as we learned up top here increases osteoblast activity if there's no osteoblast act or if there's no estrogen there's going to be no osteoblast activity so there's, there's not going to be any formation of uh, new bones after estrogen is is not being secreted by woman which happens at and after menopause so uh once a uh, male or female does go through puberty growth does increase because uh because osteoblast activity is is stimulated essentially so that's why when people with growth spurts uh boom gonna start growing more because osteoblast activity is uh is is increased and that's due to the tes testosterone and estrogen which kicks in if you will at puberty so after a few years after uh puberty lengthwise growth of the of the bone is going to stop due to uh the degeneration of the epiphyseal plate so that's why uh, uh somebody who goes an individual who goes through puberty earlier than their peers they're going to be uh they're going to be taller and then their peers when they're younger, but probably shorter than their peers when they're older. And the reason is this. So before uh, puberty, obviously everyone's growing or we'd, we'd all be walking around about this tall, coming out of the womb and we're, we're still this tall whenever we're 13 years old. That's just not how it goes. So we do grow gradually throughout our lives. But uh, obviously once that growth spurt hits, that testosterone or estrogen is produced, osteoblast activities increase so this osteoblast activity that individual is going to surpass their uh, peers in height however since they went through that uh their growth spurt earlier that de that epi their epithe epiphyseal excuse me plate is going to degenerate and then lengthwise growth is going to stop so an individual who say goes through puberty at a uh, 13 they might stop growing and honestly like 14 or 15 where an individual it goes through puberty maybe at 15 or 16 they're obviously continuing to grow uh still while that person a went through puberty earlier and they're starting to hit their growth spurt earlier however that person levels off where person b is still growing still growing still growing and then they hit their growth spurt that like whatever 15 16 whatever i said their osteoblast activity increases or is stimulated because they're producing estrogen or testosterone now they eventually surpass that person who uh who went through puberty earlier and uh outgrew them earlier on however person a stopped growing because their epiphyseal plate degenerated already where person b they're growing gradually 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 they hit gr their growth spurt boom surpass person a and then their person b's epiphyseal plate eventually degenerates and their lengthwise growth of their bone stops so pretty much Simply stated, a person who goes through puberty earlier is going to be taller than their peers when they're younger and uh, and shorter than their peers when they're older because even though they go through puberty earlier, they uh, they stop growing earlier as well too. Since that epiphyseal plate degenerates, lengthwise growth stops, a uh, person who goes through puberty earlier is going to stop growing earlier. So that's uh, our sex hormones here, the estrogen, testosterone, uh, they're secreted by the ovaries and uh, testes so estrogen secreted by the ovaries uh, testes secrete testosterone ovaries and testes those are those gonads we mentioned estrosterone testosterone yeah we'll just combine them both estrogen and the testosterone they uh, increase osteoblast activity and slow degeneration of the epiphyseal plate and as we know once the epiphyseal plate degenerates sorry you're not growing anymore man or woman it's it's over game over your height is what it's going to be once your physio plate uh degenerates so uh yeah testosterone is the major differentiating factor before birth if testosterone is prevalent it's going to be a boy if uh there's not it's going to be a girl and then both estrogen and testosterone up until puberty there's no sign of it once a, a male goes through puberty testosterone's uh produced the rest of their lives once a woman goes through puberty estrogen is produced up until menopause and then estrogen uh, production secretion stops hence osteoplast activity also stops so those are the sex hormones estrogen testosterone don't forget it we all got them and that's just the way it's gonna be baby